carbon credit our earth is undoubtedly warming this warming is largely the result of emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases from human activities including industrial process fossil fuel combustion and changes in land use such as deforestation to protect ourselves our economy and our land from the adverse effect of climate change we must reduce the emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases to achieve this goal the concept of green carbon credit has come into use so carbon credits it is a tradable certificate or permit representing the right to emit one ton of carbon dioxide they provide a way to reduce the greenhouse gas effect emissions on an industrial scale carbon credits are the certificates issued to send countries that reduce their emission of ghg that goes global warming the carbon credit mechanism was formalized in the kyoto protocol an international agreement between more than 170 countries the main aim in this agreement is to reduce the carbon emission in the global atmosphere to balance the natural environment there are two types of credit which are the voluntary emission reduction a carbon credit that is exchanged in the voluntary market for credits and the certified emissions reduction emission credits created through a regulatory framework emission credits created through a regulatory framework with the purpose of offsetting a project's emissions next is the measures of measuring carbon credits identify polluting activities calculate the quantity of resources used calculate the emissions from six pollutants convert to carbon dioxide equivalent calculate the total emissions how carbon credits work company a emits than its target amount of carbon dioxide this means that company a has a surplus amount of carbon credits company b emits more than its target amount of carbon so either company b has pays a fine or tries to buy carbon credits from another company at this point company a and b get to an agreement and trade carbon credits company a sells its surplus to company b getting money and a positive image feedback while company b buying carbon credits from company a avoids paying a fine carbon credit traders in india rajasthan renewable energy corporation indo gulf fertilizers tata power company limited madhya pradesh rural livelihood project Rajasthan Renewable Energy Corporation Indo Gulf Fertilizers Tata Power Company Limited and Madhya Pradesh Rural Likelihood Project Advantages of Carbon Credit Technology transfer from developed country to developing countries can change country's financial situation environmental benefits are there and helps in developing extra income along with better technology for company So now let's learn about carbon trading that will be explained in the next video but now we can just once again learn what is carbon credit and carbon trading in the next video so what is carbon credit carbon credits are a market based mechanism for reducing greenhouse gas emissions they represent a way for business governments and individuals to offset their carbon emissions by investing in projects that reduce emissions elsewhere A carbon credit represents a right to emit 1 metric ton of carbon dioxide or an equivalent amount of another greenhouse gas such as methane or nitrous oxide and is typically bought and sold on carbon markets. The process works as follows. Entities that reduce their carbon emissions below a certain level can earn carbon credits which they then can sell to others who need to offset their emissions. this creates an incentive for companies to reduce their carbon emissions and invest in renewable energy and other low carbon technologies the concept of carbon credits is based on the idea that atmosphere is a shared resource and that emission reductions in one location can offset emissions elsewhere the goal is to create a financial incentive for businesses and individuals to reduce their carbon footprint and invest in cleaner technologies carbon credits have been criticized by some for allowing companies to continue emitting greenhouse gases while buying offsets rather than making substantive changes to their operations 
Others argue that carbon credit can be a useful tool for encouraging emission reductions and promoting sustainable development. Now let's learn about the advantages and disadvantages of carbon credit. Carbon credits are tradable certificates that represent a reduction or removal of greenhouse gas emissions from the atmosphere. Here are some advantages and disadvantages of carbon credits. Let's learn about the advantages first. Encourage emission reduction. Carbon credits provide a financial incentive for companies to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. This can lead to the development of new technologies and practices that help reduce emissions. Promote sustainable development. Carbon credits can promote sustainable development by supporting projects that improve energy sufficiency, promote renewable energy and protect forests and other natural resources, generate revenue. Companies that reduce their emissions can sell their carbon credits on the carbon market, generating revenue that can be used to finance further emission reduction efforts. Global cooperation. Carbon credits provide a mechanism for global cooperation on climate change mitigation by allowing developed countries to invest in emission reduction projects in developing countries. Now let's learn about the disadvantages. Complex market. The carbon market can be complex. The carbon market can be complex and difficult to navigate, particularly for smaller companies or organizations. Market fluctuations. The value of carbon credit can fluctuate based on change in its supply and demand, which can make it difficult for companies to plan and budget for their emission reduction efforts. Next is the additionality. The concept of additionality which requires that emission reduction projects go beyond what would have happened anyway can be difficult to prove, which can lead to uncertainty and a lack of trust in the carbon market. The concept of additionality which requires that emission reduction projects go beyond what would have happened anyway can be difficult to prove which can lead to uncertainty and a lack of trust in the carbon market. Next is the limited impact. While carbon credits can promote emission reductions in specific projects or industries, they may not be sufficient to address the sale of scale of emissions reductions needed to address climate change. Next is the criticism of offsetting. Some critics argue that carbon credits promote the idea that emissions can be offset through carbon reduction projects rather than addressing the roof, root causes of emissions through structural changes in the economy. Overall, carbon credits can provide benefits in terms of encouraging emission reductions and promoting sustainable development, but they also have limitations and potential drawbacks that need to be carefully considered. So, which are the advantages? Encourage emission reduction, promote sustainable development, generate revenue, global cooperation is happening. Disadvantages are complex market, market fluctuations, additionality along with limited impact, then criticisms of offsetting.